Hello friends, in this video, we are going to see an example. Let's look at the example first. Example 9. In this example, we will switch on the input Then the output first will be on for 5 seconds. Then by switching off the input, the output second will be on for 5 seconds. And this should be continued in a loop. Now let's head over to the open PLC editor. We need to create a new project. Now I created the folder and I named the folder as example 9. Then after I created two power rails. I need to add the variables and I will name the first variable as input. Also the type of the variable will be boolean. The second, I will say that it's output first, and the third one will be output second. And I'm also going to need memory bits here. Let's create two for now. Now, if you have watched my previous lecture on timers, you may know that there are three timers. One is pulse timer and there is T on and T off. You also might have a clue how they work. Now, to make the letter diagram of this question, you can create or you can make the letter diagram by pulse timers and you can also create them by another timers first of all let me show you how to create it by the pulse timer to do that first of all i'm going to need a push button and i will also add a coil here for the memory bit I will join these pins and then after let me just copy and paste the input and then after I will modify or edit it as M0 to make a push button that I will paste the input and I will edit the input I will add a block here this will be time pulse Now, I'm also going to need a coil here. This will be input first. I will adjust the block size. After I will join these. I will drag the output onto the right side. Also, I need a variable which will define my preset time here t hash 5 second or t hash 5000 milliseconds which are the same Uh, 
I will copy two contacts here and I will modify the one as output first and I will modify the other one as input and I will use it as negated or you could modify the output first and write m not or address m not it instead then after I will block and I will go to the function blocks and I will choose the pulse and I will add a coil here which is going to be our output second and I will add just the block size I will join these pins also we need to define the preset time for the TP first which is pulse timer first I will write T hash and uh, 5 seconds as both of the outputs will be on for 5 seconds after I'm going to need the second memory bit which is M1 on the left side I use the input as negated and I'm going to need another contact here and the name of the contact will be output second I will join the contact with the coil here and I will add the M1 here with the pulse timer. I will modify the memory bit as negated. I will also add onto the memory bit here. Or you could just latch onto the memory bit with the M not here instead of just using the M not and M1 in series. Let me just delete it here. I will copy and paste the M1 so I will join the pins now I will start the simulation the simulation is complete I will drag this up and after I will show you the output first and the output second here and I modify or force through the input for the first time output first will go on for five seconds and when I modify the input to false the output second will go through for five seconds 
Now let me modify the input for the third time. The output first will go through for the five scans. And when I modify it false, the output second will go through for five seconds in a loop. This is working just fine. Now I'll stop the simulation here. And we will do the same or try to make the same data diagram by using different pulse trimer. We'll try to do the same example by using different timers here. Let me just delete these first. Now I'm going to need the input first and then I'm going to need Another contact here which will be negated and I will address the contact as output second then after I will add a block here I will add the first block as the pulse timer I will join these pins then after I will add a contact which is going to be our output first I also need to add a variable for the preset time I will write t hash 5000 milliseconds which is same as 5 seconds then for the second rung here I will use the input first and then after I'm going to need another contact here and I will edit the contact as output first and I will modify the contact as normally closed. Then after I'm going to need a block here and this time I will add the T off function block which is the off timer. Then I will add a coil here and I will address the coil as M0. After I will paste two contacts here and I will edit the first contact as Negated input and the second one I will use as M0. I'll join these. Then, after I'm going to need a coil, which will be our second output. I'll adjust the block size. I'll join these pins here. Now, all I need now is the preset time. I will just copy and paste preset time for the D off. Now, you might think, why did I use a memory bit here and I stayed out the output second? Well, I will show you in about a second. First of all, I will start the simulation. The simulation is complete. 
I will click on these glasses here. And after that, I will drag this up. And now you can see that diagram clear. And I will show you output first, second, and I also will show you the memory bit. I'm not. Now in this slide, in this slide diagram, we are not going to need the memory bit first, which is M1. When I modify the input true for the first time, only the output first will go true. As you saw that when or after five seconds, when the output first got false, the M0 simultaneously got true. Now, if I had put it the output second instead of M0 here, the output second will have been true, which was not our question here, but our question was asking that when I modify the input to true, the output first should go on for the five seconds. After when I modify the input to false, the output second should go true for the five seconds. And for the third time, when I modify the input to true, the output first shall go true for the five seconds or for the preset time. And when I modify the input for the fourth time to false, the when I modified the input for the fourth time, the output second got true for the five seconds and then it was false. Now, this slide diagram may be easy than the previous one. If you also felt the same, you could comment. Now, you could try the T on and T off for the same example or the different timers and do the example by yourself. When I modify the input for the fifth time, the output first will go true for five seconds and modify to false for the sixth time, the output second will go true for five seconds. Hence, this will work in a loop for infinite times. And by this, our video ends here. Thank you for watching.